Do you know what time it is? It's tab time. Come on inside the room. Open your heart and mind. You never know what you find when you let a little love inside. Hey. Hello, friends of mine. Come on in, it's tab time. Hello there. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my garden. Do you hear that noise, too? I wonder what it could be. Ooh, holy guacamole, Miss Tab. Well, hello there, Ivy. I didn't see you there. I know you like to keep weeds out of the garden. I wanted to help because that's what friends are for. That's how I roll. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ivy. You did such a good job with that big weed. Thank you so much, Miss Tab. You are a very strong vegetable. <laughs> Miss Tab, I'm a fruit. Not a vegetable. You're not a vegetable. You're a fruit. That's right. Vegetables have flowers. Fruits have seeds or pits. Shake my pit. Shake it, my pit. I do not see it when I shake my pit. Well, it is a nice pit. Thank you for telling me, Ivy, because all this time that we've been friends, I always thought you were a vegetable. Thank you for listening to me. I love that you now know I'm a fruit. I will always listen to you when you have something you want to tell me. I love learning new things about you. Can I tell you something that's on my mind? I can? Very good. When we listen to our friends, we can learn new things. Like I just learned that my friend Ivy is a fruit and not a vegetable. Miss Tab, can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything. Um, are you a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> Ivy, I am a person. A person? Well, that doesn't sound like a broccoli or a blueberry. <laughs> is that why you don't have a pit like mine that can do this? <laughs> it sure is, and thank you for asking. We're both pretty good listeners, aren't we, Miss Tab? Yes, we are. You know, I wonder what other things we could learn from listening to our friends. Hmm. You hear that, everyone? That's Breezy the Wind Chime, and I think we should go say hello. I'll see you later, Ivy. Have a fantastic time. I'll miss you from my head to my toes. <laughs> Hello there, Breezy. Oh, it's time to go on a special adventure to find out what else we could learn by listening to our friends. Would you like to go with me? You would? Very good. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Look, we're in our magic playroom. Let's fill it with our imagination. Let's move our bodies so that we wake up our minds. What do our imaginations have for us this time? Let's find out. Imagination is my imagination. Imagination is my imagination. We're in a magical underwater kingdom. I'm excited to discover more about how listening to our friends can help us learn something new. Hey, Miss Tab. Hello there, Lenny. What you doing here in the desert? We're in the ocean. That explains why I'm extremely wet mm -hmm. and there are fish everywhere. Not just fish, seahorses. Wow. Why is that one swimming all over the place like that? Well, let's ask. Hello there, seahorse. Why are you swimming all over the place like that? I'm showing my friends how to swim fast. Watch this. I'm here. Now I'm here. Now over here. Where am I now? Here? No. I'm here. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Oh, wow. Whee! <laughs> wow. By watching their friend, the seahorses learn how to swim fast. Yeehaw! <laughs> Come on, Lenny. Let's keep exploring. Coming! Bye! Oh, look at that. That mermaid is showing her friend how to do a beautiful afro puff with her hair. First, use a brush to pull everything back. Okay, I see. Pull it up, tie it with kelp. Oh, look at that. And then ta-da! Oh, that's nice. Mermaids, your hair looks amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. But you have a fish in it. 
I have a fish in it? That's not right. Usually, I have six fish in it. Fishies? Cheryl. That's better. Now you try. Okay, I got it. Fishies. Ooh, that looks good. Lenny, did you see how the Little Mermaid learned to do something from her friend by paying attention and being patient? Let's keep exploring. Exploring is my middle name. I mean, it's actually Loodle, but I love exploring. Look, Miss Tab, it's a trap. <laughs> it's a whale. <gasps> it's a whale. Did you know that when whales talk to each other, it sounds like a song? Miss Tab, that looks whaley fun. Hey, can I play with you? Mm. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks wow. like Lenny made some new friends. <laughs> they sure are having fun yeah. together. I wonder what else new friends can show us when we're playing. Oh, what's that, Breezy? It's time to visit Miss Tab's lab. Oh, that's a great place to answer our question. Goodbye, Wells. Goodbye, Lenny. Goodbye, Miss Tab. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my lab. Olá, o meu nome é Professora Yerma Vesti. Oh, I'm sorry. You're speaking a different language, and I don't know what you're saying. My name is Professor Yerma Vesti. I, I was speaking Portuguese. Oh, okay. Well, very good. Nice to meet you, Professor Vesti, and thank you for letting me know. What are all these fun things that you have here? These are some props that I'm going to use because I'm going to show you some new fun games to play with your friends. Oh, I love to play games. I play all different kinds. But what do you like to play? One of my favorite games to play is Guess What I Am. Oh. I've never played that game before, and I'm afraid I won't know how to play. But that's okay. Well, I use all these props, mm -hmm. and then I pretend to be something, and then you guess what that is. Oh, well, that sounds fun. Muito bem. Hmm. I think it means good, because you're holding a thumbs up. <laughs> yes, yes, muito bem means very good. Muito bem. Oh, very good. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Would you like a hint? <laughs> yes. In Portuguese, the word is elefante. Do you know what it is? What is it? Oh, my friends at home think that you're an elephant. Yes! Yes! All right! <laughs> yeah. And how do we say that in Portuguese? Elefante. Elefante. All right, very good. Another one of my favorite games. Would you like to play it? Oh, absolutely. Okay, this one is called Guess How I Got Here. Hmm. Okay, so I bet you're going to act something out, and then I guess how you got here. Yes! Okay. Yes! Okay, very good. Are you ready? I am. A steamboat. Nope. A truck. Choo-choo! Oh, a, a train! Yes! And uh, in Portuguese, the word is so similar. It's also train. Train? Would you like to play my favorite game of all time? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> this one okay. is called Guess What I'm Saying. Guess What I'm Saying. Ooh, that sounds fun. So, your hint is... Eu te amo. Eu te amo. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Eu te amo. I heart you. Eu te... Eu te amo. I love yes! you. Yes! Oh, very good. Very good. Oh, my goodness. You know what? A friend once showed me that in sign language, mm -hmm. I love you is... Oh, I love you. El te amo. El te amo. Yeah. Would you like to try it with me? El, El te amo. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Professor Yerma Bessie. So not only did you show us all your fun new games, but you taught us Portuguese and sign language. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this has been so much fun. And now we're friends. Yes, you yes. are my new amiga. I am. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, that's Breezy. Now I'm going to help my new friend clean up all the games, and I'll see you at craft time. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Miss Tab. What are your names and how old are you? I'm Sky and I'm seven. Well, very nice to meet you, Sky. And what about you? I'm Nora and I'm 
Room 7. Well, nice to meet you, Nora. I am so excited that you're here to make a craft with Miss Tab today. You know, I have been thinking a lot about friendship, and I have some really good friends, and they make me laugh a lot, and we play games. So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about some friends that you have. One time in school, I was at the craft section, mm -hmm. and I made four friendship bracelets. Really? And what about you, Miss Sky? Do you ever go to the park and make new friends? Yeah. Yes, what's something that you like to do at the park with friends? I like to play hide and seek, play tag. Yeah, I love hide and seek. <laughs> so I'm thinking today we'll make a craft on a way that we can stay connected with our friends. What do you think about that? Yes, all right, DJ Crafty, come on in and meet my new friends. <laughs> DJ Crafty! Hi, DJ Crafty. Hello, Sky and Nora. I can sense you're both gonna be some great crafters. I can feel it in my lid. Or maybe it's just a couple crayons rolling around in there. <laughs> All right, so DJ Crafty, do you have a craft we could make that will help us stay connected with our friends? Oh, I got the perfect craft idea for you and our friends at home. We're gonna make paper cup phones! phones! Here's what we'll need. Two paper cups, one for you and one for your friend. Two paper clips, one long string, a sharpened pencil, markers, stickers, and whatever stuff you have at home to decorate your cups. Decorating is the ri ri remake! Get, get crazy. crazy! But first, get a grown-up. All right, so let's get started. First thing is we have our cups here. So you choose two colors that you would like because we're making our phones to connect. Oh, wait, what do we have? Pink and yellow and pink and blue. Okay, so then we are going to decorate our cups. Okay, we have all these different stickers. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I know I felt the same way when I saw the ladybugs. Aren't those cute? I saw you looking at that bunny, Nora. They're gonna look awesome on your paper phones. I wonder who we're gonna call on our phones first. Who's your favorite person to talk to on the phone? Miss Tab. Oh, come on, honey. Yes, Miss Tab is your favorite person to talk to on the phone? I love that. What about you, Sky? Oh, I got friends. They my best friends, you see that? So, now that we have that done, show DJ Crafty your cup. Wow, good job. So, you have your cup, and you can take a pencil, and if you can't do this, you have your grown-up help you, all right? And we'll put a hole in the bottom of the cup, like so, like that. Very cool. So, in the hole that Miss Tab made, We'll put the string. Okay, and then let's have a little paper clip. Okay, so we're gonna tie a little knot so our paper clip stays inside of our cup. There you are. Thank you. You're so very welcome. And I've got more paper clips in my lid if you need them. Oh, maybe that's what I felt rattling around in there. Huh? Oh, wow, you are full of surprises. That's right, Miss Tad. <laughs> okay, and then let's pull the string. There you go. Very good. Wow, that's so amazing. Very good. Keep on pulling it. Keep on. This is a phone line. One more pull. There you go. So look, we're all done. We got our phones. Now who shall we call first? Miss Dad. Okay, let's see. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Where y'all at? I thought y'all was coming to pick me up so we could go to the mall. <laughs> Are y'all on the way yet? Uh -uh. All right, best friend. I'll see you soon. Hello there, friends at home. How's it going? Oh, you're having fun? Very good. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> well, I want to see your paper cup phones. Wow, good job. Hey, give me a call. What do you call a hamburger that is cold? I don't know. What do you call it? A what about you? Come on, let's see here, Sky. Give me a good one, girl. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Hmm. To get to the other side? No, because the chicken wasn't born yet. <laughs> Very good. Nora, Sky, I guess I can officially call you great crafters. Thank you, DJ Crafty. Thank you, DJ Crafty. DJ Crafty! Woo -hoo. Call me if you need me. Thank you so much for doing the craft with Miss Tab today. I had so much fun with you all. And you know what I had the most fun doing? Becoming friends. <laughs> high five. All right, honey, double high five again. Give me double, give me double. Very good, got it. Would you mind helping Miss Tab clean up? Yes. Yes? Okay, so I'll meet you in the kitchen after the cleanup. It's snack time. Don't forget to wash your hands. It's snack time. It's snack time. Let's make something tasty for snack time. It's snack time. Everybody, it's snack time. Come on. All right. I 
am so excited to make a snack with you all today. But make sure you have a grown-up in the kitchen to help you, okay? Whoa! Whoa. Hi, hey, Miss Tap. Well, hello there, Bernie. Hello there, Starla. What are you gonna make for a snack today? So we've been discovering a lot about listening to our friends. So I thought it'd be great to make a friendly face tostada. You need me for anything here, I'm ready. I can sing a song or do a dance. I can twirl or spin or do a jig. I am ready to mix it up. Very good, Starla. And I love how excited you are. But today, you can help me by listening. You think you could do that? Okay. But just so you know, the twirling's here if you need it. <laughs> okay, very good. Oh, I'm an excellent listener. Watch this. Oh. It's pretty good, right? So good. Very good, Bernie. You know, I am very lucky to have you as friends because we can do all different things, but we also listen to each other. I'm so excited to listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Okay, Starla. First thing is the tostada. We will put shredded cashew cheese all over. Ooh. Ooh! You use whatever cheese you got. That's your business, okay? Yummy! Then we'll take some shredded lettuce to make some hair. Then we have olives to make the eyes. And then a tomato to make the nose. Salsa for a smile. Good old mouth there. That Ooh. looks amazing! Now... Hmm. Looks like something is missing. Ooh, Miss Tab, what about some of those furry things people have over their eyes? Oh, you mean eyebrows. You know what? Shredded carrots would make perfect eyebrows. Oh, I like it. Here we go. That's a good idea. Oh. Nicely done, Miss Tab. Yeah, they have my tummy! Whoa, slow down. Thank you, Bernie and Starla, for being such great helpers today by listening. I also did some twirling just now. I was too excited not to. And it was a very lovely twirl. It's fun! All right, you two, would you like a taste? Yes, please. Of course please. I do! Okay, okay, here we go. Wow. Oh. Mm. Yummy! Thank you. I'm flipping for this. You're very welcome. You know what? Let's check on Mona. Hello there, Mona. She said she's excited to come out soon to see her friends. Well, we're excited to see you too, Mona. But take your time. Becoming a butterfly is hard work. Oh, that's breezy. She says it's story time. All right, see you later, Mona. Bye, Bernie and Starla. Goodbye, Miss Tab. Let's go. I've had so much fun with all of my friends today, including all of you. Now it's story time. But first, I need to find my story time glasses. Do you know where my story time glasses are? You do? Oh, they're on the chair. Oh, behind me. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. All right. Now, let's invite Lovey to story time. Lovey, would you like to join us? Well, hello there, Lovey. You know, the wonderful thing about Lovey is that she always knows how I'm feeling. As my feelings change, Lovey's colors change too. Like right now, I am happy to be at story time with you. So Lovey is green for happiness. <laughs> Let's get started. Here we go. So, today I learned something new about my friend Ivy. I learned that an avocado is a fruit and not a vegetable. And that made me curious about what else we could learn from our friends by listening. See that? Lovey is orange for curiosity. And then later, in Miss Tab's lab, we made a new friend, Professor Yerma Bestie. And they wanted to play games with me, but I was afraid I wouldn't know how to play. And now Lovey is gray for afraid. Once we started playing games, we had so much fun together, all I could feel was so much love in my heart for my new friend. And now Lovey is pink for love. How do you feel? when you listen to someone tell you how much they love you, or when you discover something new about one of your friends. Remember, however you feel is the right way to feel. And if you feel a lot of things at one time, that's okay. <laughs> that's right, lovey. Thank you. And thank you for sharing time with me today. You hear that, lovey? That's our friend Breezy letting us know it's time to say goodbye.
Thank you for this time today. The friends we made, the food we ate, the stories and imagining. So glad we had this time with you today. I've had the best time with you all today. You are amazing. So amazing that I think you should give yourself a big old hug. And I'll give myself one, too. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? So glad we had this time with you today. Well, I'm going to go out into the garden and tell Avi all about our adventures. And you can tell your family and friends at home, too. Yeah, I want you to have a good day, okay? But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's him. Very good. I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, friends.